um hello guys welcome to the password locker so i'm going to start off um uh, here on the left uh, i have uh, the i have a couple of files i have the user.py file i have the test file i have the, I have the run.py file also have the credential.py which i'm not going to, to use because i've created a class for it already inside so i'm we are going to start with the test file uh, here I've imported the unit test that is going to help us create the test cases and also have, uh, from the user.py I've imported uh, the user class as you can see here um, um, so we are going to start with the so we have a, a class test user uh, which I've given it a unit test dot test case and I've also done a dev setup to run each test case and I've also initialized uh, the test case so I'll start by so self.assert equal so this one will test if the what I've print I've written here even the 2021 if, uh, if it's the correct thing so I'll start writing a function the dev test save user that will it will help uh, to test if I've saved the user, so these are the functions. So there's also a function to do the, the users. As for now, I only had uh, the these are uh, the save user and the delete user test case. Um, okay, also I have um, I have a user.py file. Uh, I put it random, but uh, I did not use them at the moment. The random and the string, we're not going to use them. I uh, also have a, a class file, the class user, which is going, which was even being referenced here at the, the top here. So the class user, I've, I've created a model, a model which have has an array or a dictionary in uh, Python. So user list is the dictionary, and I've passed some parameters. So in Python, you have to write, uh, you have to use self first. So self first name last name username password and then i wrote a doc string here and then now I initialize this so self dot first name is equal to first name last name just like that and now i start by writing my first function now def function save user so user dot user list this one so i append self so every every item that uh, is printed will be put into the dictionary the user list and then the delete user so i'll user dot user is user list dot remove self that's the function then i have the class method so the class method uh, looks over the whole class to, to check something that is the importance of the this decorator class method so it goes through the whole class and checks for some uh, certain properties so here i want to check to display users so uh so I have a function uh, display users and I pass in a class uh, CLS so and then I return class dot user list this one will return everything that is in the, the user list array or the dictionary so I also have another function the uh, function to delete uh, the user so user dot user to remove this will delete the user mm, oh sorry I came back uh, so there is also a class method here to find user by number so the number that we inputted there is what uh, will be used so for user in class the user list which is there if user.password is the same as the number return the user that's the meaning of that so we also have a function to test if the user exists so we compare to the number so if username.num is equals to number return true yeah we also have a class for credentials so here we also have uh, it's a model just a model like just the same as this one so um so this model will be testing uh, accounts so we also have accounts so in an account an account here you can create an account like uh instagram twitter yeah. so self.account 
self dot account whatever you have passed here you you just uh, return them here so we have to save the account that you've created you can delete the account you can display uh, the account uh, you can find the account to a number it's just the same process that is over there so you can take the video slowly and uh, copy the code slowly 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 and try it on your end but i'll try it at the end so i'll come now to the random.py file so i've imported string i've imported the random i've imported user from the user also I've imported the user from the credentials all right so so i so i have the, the first function create user first name so new user user so you give you the first name last name and user password um we create our first function to save user to delete user so user dot save user that's the function so the save user is what you created here at the top at uh, the user dot by there are functions you have created here like uh, save user this is what you come and call here so def save user is equals user dot save user uh, find user the same so find user by number yeah I hope you can see that and then after all that uh, we have now the main function that uh, we run we run in our in our console now in our terminal so we create a function the function main uh, so while true uh, you print welcome to our password vault so write su su for me it means sign up sign up or lg to start so then you print su or lg so that will be the output that will come first uh, option if input uh, if option su if someone i uh, select su in capital letters you will given you'll be given an option to create an account first name last name password yeah and um yeah so it will save the user the username the account yeah so the end here means skip the next line slash n means next line so if a person selects lg means login so you'll be asked your username your password this one if 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 you can if you want to find a user it will skip to the next line you can create multiple accounts you can create an account here you can view an account ac means account vc means viewer account uh, and also you can create a credentials oh this one now is the function of what has been passed here so if i choose ac means i adding an a credential account so account dot login that one yeah print yeah if i choose g what did i put for g for can't remember all right so uh basically this is the whole function that runs so i will try and run it myself so that um you can see let me fix this and me error here all right so i will run the function so that we can see so this is how the application works so when i select su means sign up and make sure it's capital letters as you have input there su create an account first name even name came Username, username, uh, chemical, chemical, nice password, akim123. Uh, and nice, so this is what has come. So, welcome to password vault. Now you can SU, now we can log in now because we have created, we have created our account. So, I select in caps, make sure it's in capital letters, LG. I log in the username that I kept was chemical chemical what is it chemical yeah password was kim one two three great now we can create uh, more accounts credential accounts let me see 
so I want to create an account yeah. so account name uh, Instagram Instagram okay so generate a password for me or create a password for me let me create my own capital C my password um, let me just write uh, Kim123 right so welcome so i can view my account let me try select um i don't know if it will work we see uh kindly choose another option so let me see lg yeah login chemical chemical was my username and yeah, my password was kim123 now I can view the account that I created the Instagram one so I'll select VC now you can see the the, the credential I created so that is how the password locker works so you can you can just follow the video slowly and try and uh, put the code that I've written and see if it works for you thank you